This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. Passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. It happened that as he made his way towards Jerusalem, he crossed over the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, 10 men, all lepers, met him. They kept their distance but raised their voices, calling out, "Jesus, master, have mercy on us." Taking a good look at them, he said, "Go, show yourselves to the priests." They went, and while still on their way, became clean. One of them, when he realized that he was healed, turned around and came back, shouting his gratitude, glorifying God. He kneeled at Jesus' feet, so grateful. He couldn't thank him enough, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus said, "Were not ten healed, where are the nine?" Can none be found to come back and give glory to God except this outsider? Then he said to him, "Get up, on your way. Your faith has healed and saved you." The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter seventeen, verses eleven to nineteen. In the time of Jesus four categories of persons were treated as dead the poor the leper the blind and the childless the lepers could not approach the villages and places where other people lived all diseases were considered punishments for sins but leprosy was the symbol of sin itself the healing of leprosy was a miracle comparable to the resurrection of a dead person only the lord could cure it in today's gospel the 10 lepers shouted from a distance jesus teacher have mercy on us jesus asked them to go and present themselves to the priests they go and along the way they are cured this healing of the lepers should be understood as a catechesis for the christian community that number 10 in the bible has a symbolic value it indicates totality the lepers of the gospel therefore represent the entire humanity luke wants to tell us that the whole of human kind needs the healing of jesus no one is pure we all carry the signs of death that only the word of christ can cure whoever considers oneself righteous condemns the others as sinful this is the leprosy that disfigures the life of a christian in the gospel today leprosy had brought together jews and samaritans who while in good health despise hate and fight each other the awareness of common disgrace and suffering gathers them in friendship and solidarity god will not be happy until the last human being is liberated from the leprosy which puts them far away from the lord and from one another the lepers invoke jesus from a distance from a distance would jesus listen to their desperate cry these are the doubts the fears which harass not only the 10 lepers but also the christians of luke's community We believe that Jesus is the Lord and he could cure of our sinfulness but now that we are grave sinners and far away from him would he still forgive us and save us from a distance Luke's answer to his community and to us is simple the word of Jesus is the word that heals every kind of leprosy it is enough to trust in him like that samaritan leper to whom jesus acknowledges your faith has saved you the 10 lepers were cured along the way 
a theological message is that the Christian life is compared to an itinerary, a long and tiresome journey. The healing of leprosy does not happen all at once. It comes progressively and requires a whole life. Jesus invites us to walk this way with patience, serenity and optimism and be guided at every step by his word. Along the way, those who have faith will gradually see the skin becoming as that of a child's. As it happened to Naaman of the first reading, as it happened with the Samaritan leper, the heretics, pagans and sinners were the first to recognize Jesus as the mediator of God's salvation.